In this tutorial, you will learn how to design an internet meme. Almost all modern memes are now humor-centered, often combining mimicry with simple artwork or conveying a message. In such cases, we combine both the forces of imagery and words. There can be different types of internet memes. You may have seen many sketch-based comic strip style memes and others with a portrait or a cutout image accompanied with some sort of text. For this tutorial, we will be covering both the comic strip and the cutout style internet meme. Over here, we have opened up an 8x8 inches document in Photoshop. With that done, we will use the guidelines to mark the center so that the object, which we would be working on later, can be placed at the center of the canvas. Now let's change the background to a lighter shade of gray. With that done, we will select the pen tool and change its mood to shape from the panel above. Now let's draw a triangle on the upper side and change its color to a darker shade of gray. What we're trying to do here is to create a simple starburst background before we bring the object on the canvas. Now let's make a copy of that shape, reflect it vertically, align it at the bottom, and our background is ready. Next, let's open up the image which we would want to be using for the meme. Over here, we will use the eraser tool to remove the borders around the object here. Make sure you use soft edges and remove the borders carefully. You can even use the lasso tool to crop out the edges as well. Once done, let's position it at the center. Now we will pick up the text tool to insert the text. Memes usually go with thick fonts for the text like Franklin Gothic Heavy or even Impact. Over here we will select white color for the text and add a stroke of 5 pixels so that it's easily readable. You can play with the position of the text and the object in any way you want. Similarly, you can work with the comic strip style using the same basic format, that is, thick fonts and basic colors. Over here we will draw a black horizontal line using brush tool in the center of the canvas, so that we can make two instances within the comic strip. Now we will import two basic cartoon vector images on the canvas and position one above and the other below. Next we will add the font to the comic strip using a thick font with a stroke added to it, like we did before. And these are some of the ways in which you can create internet memes in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.